it's Takara, and today I'm going to be telling you my top 10 North suits. Consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this as I play actively in the Japanese and English Love Nikki servers and in the Shiny Nikki global server. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Disclaimer, this isn't a factual list. It's based on my personal opinion and taste. Feel free to make your own list and post it in the comments. My lovely brother, XL, let me on to his account so I can show the suits I don't have. I'll leave a link to his Instagram in the description since he is a great and talented player. At number 10, we have Beat of Abyss. So this suit is from a mini hell event costing around 4.6 thousand diamonds on average. I actually have the two other suits from the event, but I purposely skipped her. I actually don't like the hair it looks weird to me i do love this bottom though especially because of the skull her movable items are pretty unique i don't like the drums though because i really don't find much use for it but my favorite item from the suit has to be this disc right here because as you can see there is an animated red lightning strike which i think is really really cool and um as for this item uh, it is cool looking just like the drums but i don't really find much uses for it and uh her her pose is actually cool i actually like the pose but of course you never really use poses so i guess just guess it doesn't matter that much i love the suits you get before her i don't regret them but i don't think it's worth spending the extra 1700 diamonds for two items from the suit that i would use which would be the bottom and the this like those are literally the only items i actually find myself using from her at number nine we have polo tintes she is a minor suit from the spiral of staircase hell event she is very much my style i love the short green hair i love her top but of course since it's a hoodie there's gonna be some major clipping issues your hair is gonna have to be really short and really small because if it's too wide it's just gonna clip the hood i also like the socks which he doesn't have for some reason i don't know how the hell that even happens but i also like the shoes and i also like the recolor i love the blue hair more than the green hair and again i like the hoodie but of course clipping his shoes and i also like the socks and shoes from here she isn't the best suit i have to admit she isn't the most versatile however she is above the other suit because she is a lot cheaper at number eight we have shadow edge this is a free crafting suit it is actually the target suit of chapter seven volume two this hair is nice it's not really that special to me but it is nice this coat is actually really really cool to me i also love the way the top is it's actually also cool and the shorts they're whatever to me her item her other items are nice but they just really aren't that special she does have a recolor but i like the original color more i would show you the recolor but i genuinely do not have the star coins for it right now this is such a nice suit especially knowing that it's free though i don't use her as much as i would like to at number seven we have night mission a recent welfare stamina event i love the short gray hair i actually use these boots sometimes sometimes they're the only shoe that looks good with what i'm doing i also love the giant rifle and the bullets that are on the ground those are the only really items i like which i'm not gonna complain about it because she was free so it really is not that big of a deal but i do love her at number six we have claire's wish a crafting suit costing 1500 and 78 diamonds at the most the hair is beautiful however i wish these things weren't attached to it because that would make it a lot better i love the boots they're so cute and um the only accessory i really like here would be the flag however we have so many other flags in the game so i guess it doesn't really matter that much now 
As for the pose version, I don't know what it is, but this is like one of the only poses that I'm actually obsessed with. Like this pose looks so cool and pretty to me. I don't know how to explain it, but I actually just really, really love the pose. And um, I love the suit so much. However, she isn't too special to me, so I might end up never getting her, but who knows, one day I might have her. At number 5, we have red-haired Asura. She was an old welfare event that recently came back for crafting. She was one of the first suits I ever got, so she is special to me. Her leglet is not only good for stages, but it is good for the um, assassin style. And then, of course, her guns. I love the rifle, and I also love the little tiny pistol that's here. And I actually really, really like this eye patch. It's a really unique item, especially since it has blood on it. And um, one of my favorite items from the suit has to be the separated arm pose. However, I have a problem with this arm pose because it is just, uh, look, okay, look. It kind of works well with this dress right here, but of course the rifle just goes behind it. But then there's like other dresses like this one. Your dress has to be so skinny in order for it to work. Like, look, this dress isn't even that thick, but it doesn't work here because the it's covering majority of the rifle so that is a um that that's a problem because like even like uh, it's not even doesn't matter if it's sleeveless if the dress is just like too thick it's not gonna work now if it didn't have such a big clipping issue i would probably put this suit higher on the list but of course it always has to have this type of problem but you know what it is what it is there's nothing we can really do about it i love this suit so much but i just wish it did not have this problem at number four we have glacier cheddar she was a time limited pavilion that came to us last year she cost around two thousand diamonds on average i'm not too much into the style but i love the way it looks i love the hair this hair is actually really really pretty to me i don't know what it is but it is just absolutely stunning her outfit it's it's alright. Again, I'm not really much into the style, but some of these items are just so nice to me. I like the pink one here, uh, mainly because it's actually separated from the snow from the suit, which the snow is actually uh, one of my favorite items from the suit. I don't know if it's my favorite item or if it's the second favorite because I also really like another item. But the snow has saved me a lot in a lot of scenarios, but I like the penguin because it doesn't only just work with that snow. Even if you're only in like the avatar mode, it also works in the um, snow from the Mickey Mouse collab. Because as you can see, it just actually just blends right in and I'm pretty sure you can use it with the um, Anna snow from the Frozen collab. I actually don't have that snow, so I can't exactly show it to you guys. But let me go back to the suit. And yeah, I again, I love the snow. It has saved me so many times. It's a really uh, nice item, though I wish there weren't like footsteps on it. And then um, the band-aids, they're, they're cool. It's probably the only accessory here I actually like, but I love love i love this makeup so much it's just so adorable to me and i've used it so many times it's actually a really versatile makeup which is what i love so much about it because it really isn't that hard to use and yeah she doesn't have a lot of useful items but the ones that she has i use it quite a lot so she has to be on my list at number three, we have War in Winter, a sneaker shop suit costing $5. I really, really like this hair. I don't know what it is, but I just think messy hairs are so pretty. 
Not like not like over the top messy, but like messy like this. I think this is actually just really really pretty. I also like the coat. It's actually a pretty nice looking item, and I love the skirt right here. It's so pretty, and then the leg. Eh, it's whatever. Um, I also like the uh, rifle right here. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's probably a uh, brooch, brooch, brooch. I don't know how you say it. It's probably um in that category right there and the best item from the suit is the leg pose see if you have a separate leg pose you're gonna be really high on my list because i love leg poses so much i mean who doesn't love leg poses so yeah the leg pose just makes it so much more worth it and so much more higher on the list because i actually would see myself using this leg pose quite a lot and this has to be like a top pose right here too because there's a bottom right here so she also has a separate top pose, which is actually really, really good. And you know, leg poses just win my heart. Do I need to say more? At number two, we have Oath of Honor, a secret shop suit that can come in three different packs. You can get her by herself for $15, you can get her and Lotus Prince for $20, or you can get her, Lotus Prince, and Frost Rose for $40. Okay, this hair is beautiful. I love the long braids, and this coat right here is actually really pretty and aesthetically very aesthetically pleasing in my opinion and okay the best item from the entire suit and one of the best items in the game this light right here this light is literally everything like the light alone is worth $15 because of how much you would use it it's every sorry corridor artist's dream and it can be a nice thing to add to your avatar too to make it glow more and the makeup isn't that special, but it is pretty. The pose is also pretty and is used a lot in the competition. Every time I get her in the shop, I want to cry because I can never afford it. But one day, she will be mine and I will be very happy to finally own this light because this light, I, I love it so much. <laughs> I just want to have the light, please. And finally, at number one, we have Icewind Warchant, a lifetime suit, meaning she is completely free. Okay, I'm recording this after the update, and I know that she now really isn't classified as a North suit. She's now under the classic category, but when I was writing this video, she was a North suit, and I really, really don't want to change it, so she's just gonna be on on the list even though she really isn't a north suit anymore but of course she's gonna be a north suit in my heart so uh yeah okay i love her hair it's one of my favorite hairs in the entire game and i love the recolor of it too because you know it's black and i prefer darker colors it's just a really pretty and versatile hair um her outfit it's only really versatile within like the northern and army style but she does have some of my go-to items whenever i am styling some northern suits and this makeup is amazing the expression is everything and it's simple enough to be versatile i also like the posed version of the suit I do wish the helmet here was not attached to the hair because you know that'd make it a lot better and her pose is actually my go-to pose when it comes to like the northern style competitions and it always gets me to like the top 5% and this item right here I've actually never used it but it's a very gigantic item as you can see here you can barely see it on the screen but yeah, I, I never use it. And um, I also really love the posed makeup. As you can see, it even changes like the face shape a little bit. Obviously, this one isn't as versatile as the original pose because it's looking more upwards. It just really depends on how you're using the makeup. So yeah, okay. <laughs> Overall, this is one of my favorite suits in-game. 
So she just has to be number one on my North list. Even if the reasoning isn't solid, she's just number one in my heart. I adore the suit so, so very much. Okay, that was it for my top 10 North suits. If you have any questions or future video ideas, please let me know in the comments below. But anyways, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!